Welcome to the Exact Tools Air 360 Saw instructional video. This video consists of two parts. One, a real job site cut showing that this saw is made for heavy duty jobs, not just in prime conditions. Two, a complete inside out instructional video that, after watching it, will put you in a prime position to best benefit your use on job sites, getting the best out of the tool. Before we get started, there are a few key points to help you optimize the usage of this tool. Never run the saw without load. This could cause the RPMs to run extremely high and heat the motor up, shortening the lifespan of the tool. Always check the oil level prior to making a cut. This is important due to the fact that there is an automatic safety system in place to prevent the motor from running without sufficient oil. Ensure that the airflow is at the recommended levels of 90 PSI and 140 CFM. Please make sure that the compressor is using filtered air. We recommend 40 microns per cubic meter or less, as is recommended for other pneumatic tools. In the next few steps, we will go through the main parts of the machine. These are the three tools we ship with the machine. A wrench for changing the saw blade, adjusting the straight cut, and pushing the oil tank piston down. The Allen wrench to change the blade. It is also possible to unscrew the oil lid with the help of the Allen wrench. A small funnel is also supplied to help you add the oil to the machine. This is the motor part, and this is the gripping unit. They are connected together with a shaft. As you can see, there are many handles on the saw. They come in handy when cutting on a job or in a trench. This knob is a part of the gripper adjustment and locking mechanism. When placing the saw on a pipe, you first have to fix it onto the right place by adjusting or tightening the gripper arms around the pipe. After the saw is tightly positioned and in place, you will still have to lock the gripper arms with the locking part of this knob. The tool must be locked in the upper position when being placed on the pipe. While in the upper locked position, pull the yellow knob to release the lock. At this point, you must push the motor down until the yellow knob locks the saw in the down cutting position. At this stage, the disc blade will cut through the pipe and you are now ready to proceed with the cut. After the cut, pull the yellow knob out Lift the machine up and lock the motor part in its upper position. This is the start button. Pull out the red emergency stop button and push the start button down. The motor will run until you push the stop button. If the motor stops immediately after you have pressed the start button, you most likely do not have enough oil in the oil tank. This is an automatic safety feature that protects the air motor. The motor will not run when there is a lack of oil. After you have completed the cut, you can stop the motor by pushing the stop button. This button is also an emergency button and it stays pressed after pushing it in. Before you can start the motor again, you must pull out the stop button. Check the air compressor connection fitting before setting up the Air360 saw. Note, each customer needs to provide their own 3 quarter inch MPT female inlet fitting to match their compressor hose fitting, i.e. quick connect fitting, Chicago fitting, etc. Do not forget to use the safety wire between the air hose inlet and the saw. At the end of the outlet coupling is a muffler. You can also connect a hose to it for underwater cutting, or if you would like to bring the noise far away from the job site. If you need to cut underwater, always use a hose in order to get exhaust air out of the water surface. The oil level must be correct at all times, and one should check this on a regular basis. If the oil level is under the necessary bar pressure, the machine will not run when the start button is pressed down. Here is the oil tank cap. This regulator is designed for the Exact 360 Air only. It features several automatic functions and a safety system. The regulator's most important job is to prevent the motor from running without lubrication. Each time you push the start button, the regulator will prime the motor with a shot of oil directly into the motor. This is the reason why occasional bits of oil will flow out of the silencer. Please note, this feature ensures that the motor will never start without oil after you have had long breaks between jobs. Prior to making a cut, always check the oil level on the level glass. If the red mark is almost on the upper edge of the level glass, 
you must add oil to the tank. Open the oil tank cap and push the piston down using the tool supplied with the Air 360. You may need to use a bit of force when pushing the piston down. After you are done with this procedure, check the position of the red mark again and make sure it is almost on the bottom side of the level glass and then add as much oil as you can and close the cap. Remember, in cases when the saw does not perform properly, first check the oil level. If it is too low, add oil. If it still does not perform correctly, check if the air hose is properly attached and make sure that there is enough air coming from your compressor. In case of a hose breakage, a built-in safety valve will shut down the motor automatically. After the hose has been properly reconnected, the motor will start to run only when the emergency button has been pulled out and the start button is pressed again. When the motor is running and is in the upward locked position, another feature, an RPM limiter, will keep the RPMs low. Once you pull the yellow knob of the motor locking pin and push both the motor and blade down to start your initial plunge cut, the RPM limiter is released and the motor will have full airflow for the duration of the cut. Before using Exact Air 360 pipe saw, check the following points. That the sliding lower blade guard slides freely. That the motor unit locking mechanism functions perfectly. That the gripper unit wheels turn freely that the safety wire is securely attached, preventing hose detachment from the machine, that the blade is in good condition and is properly attached, that you have the correct personal protection. Now we will show you how to change the diamond disc and saw blades. First, open the blade cover and then the screw on the blade shaft. Use a wrench provided to hold the nut and turn the screw using the provided Allen key. Remove the screw as well as the rest of the parts included in the blade assembly, like pulling flange, attachment flange, disc or saw blade, and blade flange. Put it all back, including a new blade, and tighten the blade properly. Open both adjustment screws and turn the tool left or right from the adjustment pointer. If you want the sawing to go more to the left, turn the entire motor unit to the right of the adjustment pointer, and vice versa. Once you have finished adjusting, make sure that you again tighten both adjustment screws. When marking the cut, always add one inch and adjust the position of the saw with the measuring edge on the saw lower blade guard. Okay, now we can get to the real action. First, tighten the gripping unit properly and lock it in place. Please note, you will need at least eight inches of free space underneath the pipe in order to be able to perform this operation in a trench. The Exact Air 360 pipe saw allows the blade to move through the cut easily without binding, which makes it a safe and user-friendly experience. Notice how clean of a cut the blade leaves. There is also very little heat transferred to the pipe, so it is safe to touch with bare hands immediately after the cut. We offer three kinds of discs or saw blades for the Exact 360 Air machine. The ALU-180 saw blade is designed to cut all kinds of plastics and aluminum pipes. The Cermit 180 saw blade is used for steel and stainless steel cutting. Please note, the lifetime of the Cermit blade is relatively short because the RPM of the saw is designed for cutting cast iron pipes with the diamond saw blade. The Diamond X180 saw blade is designed to cut cast iron, cement line or ductile pipes. You can also use the Diamond X180 disc to cut pipes made from hard plastics such as PVC and fiberglass. During this instruction video, we have shown how to use the Exact 360 air machine while cutting a stationary pipe and simulated the cutting in a ditch where the pipe cannot rotate. You can also use the Exact 360 air saw to cut pipe on pipe rollers and rotate the pipe instead of the saw. Thank you for choosing the Exact 360 air saw and please remember, if anything unexpected comes up, please read the manual.